Chris's bike was a collaboration between our design director, uh, Jay Gunzik, and a famous UK artist, Carl Kapinski. Uh, with Carl working on the very uh, iconic rhinoceros, and then Jay kind of bringing it all together with some other East African uh, hints. Um, it's really an amazing looking bike. It kind of blends the heritage of the UK and Kenya together for Chris, and uh, it's a very exciting bike that we will offer up pretty soon. We first started working with Chris when he joined Israel Startup Nation, which later became Israel Premier Tech. As a rider, we were really excited that he was joining the team. And then from that point on, we had already started to kind of talk back and forth about the products and some of his ideas around it. On this Taiwan trip, I really wanted to get to get to meet everyone here at the, the Factor Factory, who I'd only ever been able to meet online beforehand. Obviously, with all the travel restrictions in place, when I first got involved with the company, I, I couldn't actually come out here in person. So this is the first time I've, I've actually been here and being able to see everything in person. Having visited the Factor Factory for myself now, I can much better appreciate what actually goes into the production of each and every frame. I mean, I think I had this preconceived idea that it's almost sheets of carbon going into a, a big machine and it, it just getting put into a press and a frame comes out the other side. So being here in person and seeing how labor intensive it is, people literally building the frame from, from nothing by hand and just learning that it takes 40 hours 40 labor hours of someone actually working on each frame just to produce one frame. That, that, that was an incredible statistic for me to learn. An example of how I shared my expertise with Factor has been on the, the, the cockpit of the, the Ostro and now on the O2 VAM. When I first got on the bike, I loved it. But my, my, my one criticism was that the front was too soft. I felt that for racing, we needed a much stiffer front end, something that would be a lot more responsive when you're out the saddle especially and really talking, talking the handlebars. So pretty quickly, we got into the design phase and the, the sort of concept phase of what the perfect handlebar would look like for us. And uh, yeah, now that's uh, come to fruition and we're, we're currently racing on that handlebar. I think it's really great that uh, Chris came to Taiwan to visit us. I think there's, you know, as much as Chris is learning about, uh, you know, the way the production is, what we do here, it's also really valuable to our team to get to meet someone like Chris. And I think it's just a great team building experience. And he gets to experience Taiwan. And then he understands a lot more now about what does it take to make a carbon fiber bike. He'll probably be more careful in the future with them.